Hi guys, it's Kat again from Fit Life Sports Massage. I'm going to show you variation of how to get a little bit of mobility through your spine, but also to stretch through the front, the anterior chain of your body. So opening up through the hips, opening up through the diaphragm. People don't realize how important the diaphragm is, and if it's tight, what causes uh, or problems it causes for the lower back and around the rib cage. So. You can do this one at home. I'm going to show you a modification and a progression. Obviously, you need a board, okay? And a broomstick. This is going to be for the progression, so I will show you um, the advanced option afterwards, okay? So, firstly, if you're new to this, either be around a wall that you can hold on to or make sure someone's close by, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to sit on the board, okay? Get your balance first. From here, you're going to roll down the wall. Now, if, well, as you roll down the wall, you're going to walk your feet forward. Okay? And you're going to start off with your head and shoulders on the wall. From here, keeping your um, hips on the, uh, keeping your hips level, keeping your feet nice and flat. You're going to open up your arms. Okay? Now, for some people, this might be enough, but you're going to try and take your arms over here. Slowly, you can rock backwards. You're looking at getting your head down the wall. So imagine you are molding yourself to the outside of the wall. You can take your hands open, lengthen, walk the feet closer to the wall as you go over. You can just, just take a couple of breaths from here. Nice deep breath in, and as you breathe out, you're going to come lower to the ground. From there, you're going to walk feet forward. It's important that you don't just come straight up, you're going to hurt your back. So walk your feet forward. You can use your hands underneath your head for protection for your head. Slowly come up to a seated position. Okay? So now, the progression from there is with a broom stick. Okay? But please, can I say that you can just only go to the broom stick level if you are feeling safe. Um, doing the, the modification first, okay? From here, broomstick, the wider the broomstick, the easier the movement is. So the more challenging would be to bring your hands closer together, okay? So just go with what's comfortable and you can change it while you're down there. Again, same here is walking your feet forward. As you're going forward, get your spine, shoulders, and then down onto the wall. You're gonna take a nice deep breath in and bring your arms over your head and you're going to take it back. From there, you can walk your feet towards the wall to get lower in the hand. Roll your shoulder blades back and down. Again, you want to mold your body to the outside of the wall. Take a few deep breaths and see how you feel from here. You might want an extra challenge so you can get lower. Or you might decide that you want to bring your hands in closer and get your shoulder blades further down. From there, after a couple of breaths, first bring your hands up and over. From there, you can actually lower it down or use it to help you fall back. So, just coming into a seated position again, and then 